doesn't even fit anymore. Ooh, welcome back to my spooky Halloween movie marathon. Consisting of two movies. Viewer beware, you're in for a scare. <laughs> I'm almost entirely sure that if you've used the internet at some point, you're most likely familiar with The Slender Man, who was at the height of his popularity in like 2012. And the movie we're gonna be talking about today came out in 2018. Who the hell was talking about Slender Man in 2018 outside of shit posts? Little hero Ryan, I'm coming in your mom. That's even later than the continually delayed FNAF movie that will probably finally come out in like 2030. Now, I don't really know much about Slender Man outside of like the PewDiePie playthroughs. <gasps> And to be honest, I don't really care. But what I do know is that back in middle school, some people used to genuinely believe he existed. So at least someone's gonna enjoy this movie. Now, let's check this out to see if it was worth the six year delay. We start off with some students watching a video entitled, and I quote, Cats is dancing twerk. Oh yeah, it's gonna be a good one. It'd be cuter if he exploded at the end. Yeah. What? <coughs> Bless you. You know, Black did you know that pilgrims used to think sneezing Meant you were expelling demons. Oh, boy. That's yeah. why I never sneeze. Wait, wait, hold on. It's been like 30 seconds. What the hell is this dialogue? Who talks like this? Oh, guys, the dude grows in the natural habitat. Uh, <laughs> is, is this a real movie or am I being pranked here? We're introduced to our four main characters, consisting of Ren, Hallie, Chloe, and Katie, who all hang out at a sleepover to watch some Diamond Bolt videos, which is what I assume all girls do at sleepovers. Oh, my God! Oh, my they talk about this group of guys they met at school earlier who said they were catching up that night to try and summon a mysterious entity. I do know what their secret is. Oh yeah, do tell. They're getting together tonight at Tom's house in his garage to summon Slender Man. Whew, almost forgot what the movie was about for a minute there. But uh, we all know that you wish you were at the little secret sausage fest right now. <laughs> no. But who's Slender Man? Oh my God, why are you even here? Slender Man can manifest in a variety of forms. That's just straight out the Wikipedia page. All right, here it is. How to summon Slender Man. Wow, that was quick. Slender Head and Slender Man. In three, two, one. What is, ha what is happening? I'm gonna look like Slender Man. I How am I? Slenderman now. What the fuck? This movie seems to have the idea that if you keep flashing images of random clips, it'll somehow become scary. When the group reunites at school, they discuss that they've been having night terrors about the spooky video they watched. Oh, and one of the girls, Katie, I think? I can't really keep track of their names. They're all the same to me. Goes missing while on a field trip. The remaining girls who are looking for her begin hearing strange noises within their own homes. Which means the Bye Bye Man is back and he's bringing his shitty cheap jump scares with him. I can't even tell what the jump scare was supposed to be here because it's so freaking dark. Hey man, open up. I think someone ordered a uh, pepperoni parmesan. Hallie opens the door to find that it's Katie's father, who's so deranged from the disappearance of his daughter that he's doing his best Batman impression. Where is she? No, don't Hallie! Where is she? The following day at school, the trio are trying to work out what happened to Katie, and using their expert deduction skills, they manage to piece it to the video they watched. They then make the genius decision to investigate the house of the lunatic dad while one of the girls distracts him. Come on, come in. Be this is how people die, Ren. They go up to Katie's room and find a bunch of her Slender Man fan art, as well as her laptop, which they naturally steal. Then they do the one thing that you're never supposed to do to your besties. They check her browser history. Oh my god, that looks like one of those clickbait YouTube thumbnails. I saw Slender Man in the woods. He actually killed me. Gone haunted, not clickbait. All that's missing are the other 10,000 arrows in the Screen Rant logo. I Aha, we got him, boys. Case closed. I'm serious. This is just straight up one of those shitty 3 a.m. challenges you'd find by some obnoxious dumbass with a million views for some reason. Wait, look. Katie posted a video. Look, it's from the night before she disappeared. Hey guys, what's up? It's your girl Katie. Today we're doing the Slender Man 3 AM challenge. Now before we start, make sure to smash that subscribe button and hit the bell icon. <laughs> ah, Microsoft Edge! Okay, that jump scare actually got me. Well done, movie. Ren messages the person that Katie was conversing with online about the chicken tendies man, and the loud violin music in the background is there to remind you that this is supposed to be scary. 
Oh, dude, holy shit. Oh, my God. Upon finding this out, she takes it upon herself to share this knowledge with her friends. What kind of virus? Like a computer virus that infects your hard drive, but instead of your hard drive, it's your brain. Right. What? So, like, a normal virus? She explains to them that they may be able to get Katie back if they send a message to Slender Man. To do this, they decide to head into the spooky forest, because the characters in this movie provide just an abundance of good decisions. I guess, um, that I'll... Go first. Hey, yo, what up, Slender Man? I got you a pizza. Do you hear that? They're told they have to offer to him things that have personal meaning to them. So, of course, Ren gives him a fucking pot from a pottery class. Like, yeah, that's great, Ren. I'm sure he'll love that. Ooh, I don't think he liked it. So basically, that whole ritual Holly. thing accomplished absolutely nothing. Chloe then gets a call from a mysterious unknown number, and so naturally answers it without a second thought. God damn it. She's greeted with the exterior of her house, and the idea that Slender Man is standing outside filming it on his iPhone is very amusing to me. By the way, I bet you guys can never guess who made this movie. <laughs> oh yeah, I didn't see that one coming. Yes, Slender Daddy Harder. Now Chloe's gone missing as well. And now it's time for the research part of the horror movie. Yes, everyone's favorite part. What is it with these movies and libraries? <laughs> Slender Man, no, that is not how you kiss girls. And now she has become the Slender Man. Oh, but don't worry, none of it actually happened. I best you didn't see that coming. Can this movie really cool it with the jump scares, please? The two then have a falling out because Hallie doesn't really give a shit about Slender Man and instead just wants to go out on a date that night so she can get laid. So nobody's home? No, it's just us. Is that okay? Yeah. Yeah. It's been like five seconds since the shitty jump scares happened, so. Hey, come here. Oh great, now they're in the spooky woods again. Wonderful. Yeah, you know what all the best horror movies do? They have their characters walking around in the dark for 10 fucking hours. Oh hells yeah, dude, it was a dream again. This movie is awesome. And then she has her 50th hallucination for this movie, where this time... What the fuck? And now to get a hat trick of generic horror movie locations, we arrive at a hospital. Here she finds her sister bedridden with her face doing... whatever that is. Oh, for fuck's sake! <laughs> Hallie goes back to the website from earlier, only to find that her sister has been coerced into giving a gift to Slender Man by Ren or whatever. So she goes to her house to beat her up, only to find that she has a bunch of Slender Man fan art too. But then, in a shocking turn of events, it turns out that the person Katie was messaging was Ren the whole time? After the reveal of that dramatic betrayal, Ren tries to escape this movie, only to be rescued by a very angry Hallie. They manage to reconcile until Slender Man does that vlogging thing again. <laughs> I bet you never guess where we are now. Yes, we're in the fucking forest again. I'm so excited. <clears throat> what I really want more than anything right now is another five minutes of her walking around in the dark woods leading up to a shitty jump scare. Come on, Slender Man, don't let me down. Yep, there it is. Oh lord, he coming. Whoa, Slender Man was a tree the whole time. So in the end, Hallie becomes a tree, in turn saving her sister from the same environmentally friendly fate. And then the movie ends by saying that all the people on the internet who talk about him and make memes of him and shit are spreading his fear. Whatever the hell that means. So I guess we're all safe from Slender Man then, right? The more fear he creates, the more fascinated we get. We talk and write about him, share pictures, click on links, photoshop images. That's how a virus works. It's all spreading his word. You know? <laughs> Wait, that was it? No, don't show me the credits. Now I just know who to blame. Well, that was fucking awful. This has to be your most basic horror movie concept of all time. You got some dumb teenagers summoning an incredibly vague supernatural entity, and then spending the entire duration of the movie walking around slowly in dark places, only to be jump scared by some random bullshit because that's the only way these people can work out how to be scary. <laughs> There's also the brief sightings in the distance and the spooky elaborate hallucinations that turn out to be fake. I mean, everything's here. Let's recap what actually happens in this movie, okay? A group of annoying high schoolers watch a spooky haunted video. One of 
the girls goes missing as a result. So they try to find her and then fail. Then another girl goes missing. Then they try to find her and fail. And then she turns into a tree. I mean, what in the fuck were even Slenderman's powers in this? Oh, okay. He can use a smartphone and make people constipated. <laughs> He can turn people into trees. This has to be one of the worst movies I've ever seen, and I mean that wholeheartedly. It's even worse than the Bye Bye Man. I mean, at least someone gets hit by a train in that. This feels like a mockbuster that you'd find in a bargain bin somewhere. No, this is something that you'd find on YouTube Premium, okay? We're talking about that level of quality here. I really wanted to look into why this movie ended up the way it did, and thankfully most of our clues can be found in the trailer, which gives us a lot of hints as to what was left out of the final product. Now, I talked about the Pee Pee Poo Poo Man having a deceiving trailer last time, okay? but I wish I'd known about Slender Man. I mean, half of the shit isn't even in the fucking movie. Obviously, Sony ordered a lot of scenes to be cut from the movie following the Slender Man stabbings in 2014, resulting in the disjointed and incomplete feel of the final movie, leaving the fate of several characters kind of ambiguous. There's this bit here where Hallie's boyfriend throws himself off of something, which was absent from the final movie. As far as we know, he just kind of disappeared after it was implied that he watched the video. <laughs> One of the more famous scenes from the trailer is where Chloe stabs herself in the face with a scalpel in class. And there is a classroom scene in the film featuring scalpels, but it kind of just ends really abruptly. Because they cut the death scene out, it doesn't really have a purpose in the overall story. Both of these characters don't appear in the movie again after we last saw them, and I guess we now know why. If there's anything I can say I liked about it, I'd have to say the score was pretty great at times, though I feel it would be more effective in literally any other movie. Oh, and movie aside, can I say I love this poster, okay? Look how freaking cool it is with the raindrops and everything. Wish the actual movie was anywhere near this creative. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed Slender Man, the hottest movie of 2012 that was somehow worse than I expected. Wanted to give a special shout out to this month's top Patreon donators. Mitchell Buffalo, Pineapple Monster, Ender Pigman 9, Gulag, Sergio, Just Some Random Guy, and Primal. Have a happy Halloween, and I'll see you all in the next video. <laughs>